Do you know why professional window cleaners use microfiber pads and squeegees to clean their clients' windows? Well, neither do I, but I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. Now, a long time ago, I cleaned my windows using only vinegar and paper towels. But truth be told, it's quite time consuming using the spray and wipe procedure. And more often than not, I would get frustrated with the streaky results. And reading the comments, I know many of you are having the same issues. There's got to be a better way. Well, there was a better way. And that involves one of these. This is a squeegee scrubber combination tool. And these cost about 10 bucks at your local big box. When I bought mine over the weekend, it was on sale, or maybe mispriced, for three bucks, so. Now the only other stuff you're going to need aside from this is a bucket, a microfiber cloth, and some dish liquid. So all you need to do is put a few drops of dish liquid into your bucket and fill it about halfway with warm water. We're going to use the microfiber scrubbing pad to wash the windows and then we'll use the squeegee to wipe them clean and dry. And a quick note, if you find that your rubber squeegee tends to go on you, you can always buy replacements. Dip the scrubbing pad into your mixture and apply it to the glass in an S pattern. Try to get into all of the corners. Next, you'll use the squeegee and start at the top, wiping from one side to the other, just like they do at the gas station. Then you can use a microfiber cloth to wipe the frames and corners clean, just to catch any of that extra moisture. Now, you can attach a pole to your squeegee tool to reach windows that would normally be out of reach. Just make sure that you buy a threaded squeegee and that you have a threaded extension pole. You can also use this tool indoors. Just use less water on your scrubbing pad and maybe, for good measure, place a rag or cloth at the bottom of the window to protect your window sills. If you have any tree sap, dead bugs, or other crusty bits on your window, just use a scraper to get them off. And that is pretty much it. You should check out our blog, cleanmyspace.com, for more great window washing tips and tricks where you can learn about why you don't want to use newspaper and why you might want to use Rain-X to clean your windows. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments about cleaning or this video in particular, perhaps you have a window cleaning tip, don't forget to leave it in the comment box below. And to join the world's fastest growing, most amazing cleaning community, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, which is right down there. You'll not only become a better cleaner automatically, but you'll also become a better person. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.